What is up nation? No here back again and of course the other day was May the 4th Star Wars Day and there was a lot of toy reveals. Star Wars, Funko Pop, Star Wars, Hot Toys, action figures, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be talking about a lot of that on my next podcast, Tuesday Night Toys, next Tuesday, episode 2. But today I wanted to talk about all 10 Funko Pops that I ordered slash pre-ordered yesterday or yeah or Tuesday <laughs> um, on May the 4th with all these Star Wars reveals. So let's just go right ahead. Let's get into this video. Okay, so like I said, there was a bunch of stuff revealed on May the 4th. Um, I'm not going to be talking about every single thing that was revealed uh, on May the 4th today. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be talking about a lot of it, uh, the majority of it on my next podcast, Tuesday Night Toys, episode 2 on Tuesday night. Um, however, today, like I said, I just want to talk about the stuff that I actually ordered. So the stuff that I ordered um, slash pre-ordered was pretty much all Funko Pops minus one hot toy, but it wasn't even a hot toy that got revealed um, for May the 4th. I just happened to also pre-order that uh, the same day. But we're just going to talk about the Funko Pops today. Funko put out uh, slash released um, a lot of stuff. For, uh, for for Star Wars Day and for Star Wars, of course, with the Bad Batch and uh, new gaming greats and all that stuff. So I want to talk about everything that I picked up uh, on May the 4th, Funko Pop-wise, and a total of 10 pops. I haven't bought that many pops in one day in a hot minute. And, uh, you know, I'm, st I'm still very picky and choosy with what pops I get anymore. I'm no, no longer being a completist with sets and, uh, you know, this, that, and the other, but everything that I bought, I'm very happy with, I, you know, love the looks of them, and that is why I bought them, but you'll see, like, there's, with, with the gaming grades that got revealed, like, I didn't buy all three of them, um, you'll see, you know, what I got, what I did, and so, yeah, anyway, we have 10 pops to talk about, so I'll go ahead and start with this one right here, this one actually got leaked a few days, a few days before May the 4th, um, but it officially got, uh, revealed, Tuesday morning um, as a Funko Shop exclusive. As you can see, this picture just has a special edition sticker on it, but it actually got revealed as a Funko Shop exclusive Funko Pop. Uh, but it is this Darth Vader in this kind of power stance. Um, looks like the stance is when he's talking to uh, Luke at the end of Empire Strikes Back and, you know, telling him to join him uh, and, <laughs> and all that good stuff. But that's kind of the stance I'm getting here. Uh, but yeah, I really like this pop. This was uh, a really good Darth Vader pop. I went ahead and I picked this up on the Funko Shop uh, literally minutes before it sold out because... Uh, I, I think it probably sold out, if, let's just, I don't know the exact time, but let's just call it 12 noon. I probably ordered this thing at like 11.55, like <laughs> five minutes after I bought this thing, it sold out, um, because I kind of caught it a little late, and I was like, oh, I didn't see this, so I went ahead and bought it, um, because I, you know, I wanted it ever since I saw it a few days before it got leaked, and luckily, like I said, I got it when I did, because it is, uh, I believe, sold out in the Funko Shop, so yeah, this Darth Vader uh, Funko Shop exclusive is the first thing that I picked up on May the 4th. Alright, so next up, of course, on May the 4th, the Bad Batch uh, animated series officially released on Disney+, Plus. which if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Great, awesome episode 1, 70 minutes long, really good stuff. But I went ahead and ordered the 5, uh, or I should say 6, uh, Bad Batch Pops. There is 2 more, there's 2 uh, more a Amazon exclusive. I didn't pick those up because they're not that different, um, and I did, just didn't feel the need to. Um, but what I got here is, of course, the 6, uh, I guess, main Pops. Uh, featuring all the Bad Batch. Um, so you have Omega at the top, which is the only at Target, which I did go ahead and pick that up on Target.com. Not sure if it's still it's still up, but you know if it is, you know feel free to go check it out. And then the rest of them I actually picked up on Amazon, even though I'm pretty sure they're available on other websites as well, Entertainment Earth, all that good stuff. Um, but you have Hunter, Tech, Wrecker, uh, Crosshair, and Echo, all from the Bad Batch. So all six of the pops that are on your screen right now I went ahead and picked up, so I'll be able to have the complete Bad Batch collection, which is really cool. Um, the Wrecker is really sick. Uh, I believe it's the Hunter on the top left, which is uh, another really cool one. The red and the helmet's really awesome. And then the Omega is pretty cool as well. They're all sick, but they're just probably my top three, I guess you could say, out of the six. Um, but I'm really looking forward to owning all these. Like I said, I ordered the five um, Bad Batch on uh, Amazon. And then the Omega, of course, is only a Target, so I went ahead and pre-ordered that on Target.com. Wasn't rolling the dice of being like, oh, maybe I'll find it at stores. I just went ahead, because obviously I could have did that with a couple of these pops, like all six of these. I could have just been like, I'll just wait and try to find them in stores. But I'm so just like not huge on banking on stores anymore. I order so much online, which is why I just went and got all six of these. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to these pops. Uh, I love the Bad Batch show already, and we're one episode in. So had to get something to commemorate it, right? So yeah, we have Hunter, uh, Tech... Wrecker, Omega, uh, Omega, excuse me, Crosshair, and who did I not say, uh, Echo, um, obviously I'm just reading the names, I don't know the exact names off the top of my head for some of these, I'll get them mixed up, um, but point is, we have all six of the pops that you see on screen right now, I did go ahead and pre-order all those from the Bad Batch. 
All right, then we had another whole set get released. We have a new set of gaming greats uh, pops from uh, that are going to be only at GameStop uh, get announced, which are these right here. So you have the uh, Republic Commando Boss, uh, which has a glow-in-the-dark pop. Pretty cool. You have the Iden Versio from uh, Battlefront 2, which will also have a chase variant. One will have the, the normal variant, I should say, will have the uh, no helmet. The chase will have the uh, helmet on. Of course, the chase one is the cooler one, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And then on the end there from Jedi Fallen Order, you have the uh, Knight Brother. Um, obviously, it looks like, like a Darth Maul, uh, but with different colors. But the only one I pre-ordered from this was the Iden Versio, um, which I did pre-order two from GameStop. So we'll see if I get a chase in the mail. If not, no biggie. But yeah, I didn't get the Commando, uh, or, or the um, Republic Commando, nor the Knight Brother. I just wasn't huge on those. They're cool, but uh, just not for me. Um, the main reason I picked up the Iden wasn't just because of the chase. It was because... I'm a big Battlefront 2 player, and uh, I honestly don't even use Iden Versio, uh, probably uh, almost never. But uh, because it's based off that game, I got the I got the hooded Yoda that came out last year. That's based off that game. I thought it would be cool to put with that Yoda um, in a mini display for Battlefront 2. And uh, you know, like I said, I got two. Maybe I'll get a, a chase in the mail. If not, we'll do something with the other one. But yeah, the only at GameStop Iden Versio is the next one that I pre-ordered. And then sticking with the only at GameStop stuff, we have uh, this pop right here, which comes from the Bounty Hunter collection that they are doing this year. As you can see, the Boba Fett was already announced, I believe last month is going to be uh, seven different uh, pops that you're going to be able to put together to make one display. Uh, so this one right here is the Bosk, which this is maybe the first Bosk ever? There might be a real old Bosk. Um, if, if, there, if, if there is, I don't have it, but there might be an old boss. If not, this is the first boss ever, which is uh, one of the biggest reasons why I want this. I didn't originally pre-order that Boba Fett last month or two months ago, whenever it was, um, because I wasn't sure if I was going to, you know, get uh, dive deep into this Bounty Hunter collection. But I saw this boss and I was like, you know what? This is obviously going to be a sick piece when it's all together. You're going to have Boba Fett, you're going to have boss, you're going to have IG-88, you're going to have, uh, who else we got up there? Probably... Dengar, and then there's seven here, so probably Vader will also be involved in it as well. It's going to be a cool display when it's all together, and the Bosk itself looks really awesome, and I have to, I, like, I know this sounds stupid, and I just said in the beginning of this video that I don't want to be a completist, but because this has, like, a certain base and back to it, I have to get all seven of these pops, because if not, then the Bosk is just going to look out of place in the collection, and I honestly feel that. Um, and, you know, the Bosk doesn't have a hot toy or anything I could buy right now, so I'm going to have to get uh, this for the Bounty Hunter collection. So, yeah, sticking with the only at GameStop stuff, like I said, we have the, <clears throat> excuse me, Bounty uh, Hunter collection Bosk. And last but not least on the pre-order list from May the 4th, and I was a little iffy on this one when I first saw it, but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to get this, and either I'm going to keep it for my collection, or it's going to be one of those that go up in price, and we'll sell it down the line. But I do really like the pop, and that was the ultimate reason why I bought it. So I don't think I just bought it just to flip it, because that is not the plans. However, we did pick up the Chalice Collectibles Darth Maul. My biggest selling point on this is why I ended up getting it, was because he had the Dark Saber in his hand, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I thought this was a really cool pop uh, from the get-go, get but once I saw the uh, Dark Saber in one of his hands, I, that, that's what sold me on it. Uh, I never bought anything from Chalice Collectibles before. This is going to be my first pop. Um, I've definitely heard of them. Um, I just never picked up anything up uh, from them. So, so yeah, this will be my first Chalice Collectibles pop. I'm excited for it, like I said. And, and listen, I might be wrong. This might not go up in price at all. I, I saw a couple of people debating online, like, this would go up in price if there wasn't a Funko Shop Darth Vader. So, they think people think that might go up in price down the line. I don't know. That's not why I'm buying toys or anything like that. I buy because clearly I collect. Um, but it is nice to eventually see something go up in price. Like, it's cool that the General Grievous Walgreens exclusive... Uh, has now become like the second most expensive pop in my collection like i treasure that a little more because of its of its price value so it's nice when you kind of get something knowing like this might go up eventually and like i said i could be completely wrong this 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 darth maul uh could just you know float around that uh 20 range which is what i bought it for it could just float around that retail you know style price you know 20 30 bucks maybe eventually um, or it could go up, who knows, but the Chalice Collectibles Darth Maul, really cool looking pop in my opinion, uh, and I'm glad I picked it up. So that is the last one of the 10 that I ordered on uh, May the 4th. So yeah guys, if you picked up anything um, from all these Star Wars reveals on May the 4th, did any orders, did any pre-orders, let me know in the comment section below. Definitely interested to see 
what other people picked up. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, it goes a long way if you just leave a like down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Uh, we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so doing all that would definitely be greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, that'll do it for me. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. This is Rogue Two. This is Rogue Two. Commander Skywalker, do you copy? This is Rogue Two.